Hi everybody, I'm Jordan and today I'm gonna show you how to work with the Code 39 encoder. The product is equipped with simple and minimalistic interface which at the same time provides great functionality. At Code 39 there are no add-ons and therefore there's only one content text box in which you can enter letters from A to Z, digits from 0 to 9 and the following symbols dash plus dot slash dollar percentage and space I'm going to expand the view so that, so that you can see what I'm encoding if you are wondering what the asterisk stands for it's something that's built in in the code 39 standard and designates the start and the end of the human readable part of the barcode which you can hide from here After entering the sequence of letters, digits and symbols, there are several technical aspects about your barcode which you can change. Its height, its printing scale, the background color and even the color of the stripes. If what pops up in the preview window does not satisfy you, use the reset button but be careful because this will also turn the printing scale to 1 and if you don't notice it, it might cause you some troubles while exporting later. If you have watched one of our previous video tutorials, you probably know what happens once you have created your barcode. You either copy it to pasteboard, open a graphical editor, choose new from clipboard and make it nicer to the eye in whatever way you want, or if you like just the way it is, rectangle and black and white, simply export it as one of the three image file formats, PNG, which is a raster image format, or EPS and SVG, which are vector image formats. When it comes down to barcodes, I choose vector images because of their scalability, and therefore I'm going to export it as SVG. There it is. Ready to be used. Well, that's all for now guys, if you have any further questions, requests or simply want to share your opinion about the Code 39 encoder, feel free to do so on our Facebook group, Twitter channel, G+, or simply in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.